In this video, we'll work through a few problems to demonstrate the application of the ratio test. Let's first recall the ratio test. Consider the series, the infinite series, from k equals 1 to infinity of a sub k with only positive terms, and let rho equal the limit as k approaches infinity of a sub k plus 1 over a sub k. If rho is less than 1, then the series converges. If rho is greater than 1, or rho is infinite, the series diverges. And if rho is equal to 1, the series may converge or diverge, but another test is therefore needed. Each of the following series has only positive terms, so we can apply the ratio test on them to test for convergence. Let's apply the test and describe what it tells us. So consider this first example from k equals 1 to infinity of k over 2 to the k. Rho, as we know, is the limit of as k approaches infinity of a sub k plus 1 over a sub k. Well, this here is a sub k. So I'm going to write as k approaches infinity of k plus 1 divided by 2 to the k plus 1 all divided by k divided by 2 to the k. Rewriting this as a product limit as k approaches infinity of k plus 1 over 2 to the k plus 1 times 2 to the k divided by k. What we notice is that 2 to the k over 2 to the k plus 1 leaves me with a 2 in the denominator. And we know that the limit as k approaches infinity of k plus 1 over k approaches 1. If we wanted to show this explicitly, we could use L'Hopital's rule. But we know that in the long term, k plus 1 over k approaches 1. So this limit is 1 half, which is less than 1. So according to the ratio test, this series converges. Now consider the series k equals 1 to infinity of k to the k over k factorial. Now rho equals limit as k approaches infinity of, as we said before, the quotient of the successive terms a sub k plus 1 over a sub k. In this case, that gives us limit as k approaches infinity of k plus 1 to the k plus 1 divided by k plus 1 factorial, all divided by k to the k over k factorial. Rewriting this as a product of quotients. We get the limit as k approaches infinity of k plus 1 to the k plus 1 over k plus 1 factorial times k factorial over k to the k. We notice that between these factorials, k factorial divided by k plus 1 factorial, we're left with k plus 1 in the, in the denominator. So we find that this is equal to the limit as k approaches infinity of k plus 1 to the k plus 1 divided by k plus 1 times 1 over k to the k. And this reduces to limit as k approaches infinity of k plus 1 to the k because this numerator and denominator shared a factor of k plus 1 divided by k to the k. I can rewrite this as limit as k approaches infinity of k plus 1 over k to the k. We're slowly recognizing what this looks like. Limit as k approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over k to the k. 
which is actually equal to E. Now since this is greater than 1, according to the ratio test, we know that the series diverges. For our last example, consider the infinite series from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 2k minus 1. Rho, which equals limit as k approaches infinity of a sub k plus 1 over a sub k is equal to limit as k approaches infinity of 1 over 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 all over 1 over 2k minus 1. Rewriting this, we have 1 over 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 times 2k minus 1 over 1 which we find is equal to the limit as k approaches infinity of 2k minus 1 over 2k plus 1. And we know using different methods, one could be L'Hopital's rule, another is just looking at long-term behavior uh, of 2k minus 1 over 2k plus 1 is actually equal to 1. So with this series, we actually do not get a conclusion using the ratio test. We would have to use another test. And in this case, probably the integral test would be a good choice.